All right, Math 151 students, good so good job so far. Hopefully by, by this time you've worked yourself through the uh, getting started module. You've got some Canvas basics down, Canvas email ideas. Uh, you've saw some people how to upload assignments, check your grades, get feedback. Now it's time to practice. All right, so uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to show me my home screen. And basically I'm going to walk you through what it's going to feel like when you're uploading and, and putting your guided notes in together. <clears throat> so in the uh, getting started module, here's the practice assignment. Uh, our goal here is to basically how to upload files from Canvas, how to complete those files, how to convert those files. Again, that's going to be kind of a, a, a mixed bag. Oops, sorry about that. Let me save in something there. <clears throat> That'll be a little bit of a mixed bag as you go through some items and then uh, how to upload them. All right. So without any further ado, let's get started. Um, as most assignments will have, there'll be a link to the pages. So just come press this arrow here and what will happen is the PDF file of the assignment will load up. So here's the first page. And while we're at it, here's a second page. This assignment is not supposed to be uh, hard. It's, you know, the intention is to have you guys practice stuff. So you'll notice there's basically only five questions. <clears throat> now at this point, here's where things get a little interesting. If you have the ability to, some of you have the technology where this is on a tablet and you can write on the tablet with your stylus and put everything right there, save it to your uh, little tablet, and then you can upload it later. Fantastic. Most of us are probably like me where I, I actually have a printer where I can print this page out, do the work, and then use my printer to scan. Or some of you might even have a cam scanner on your phone that converts things to PDF files. So go that route. <clears throat> some of you, if you don't have those options, you could just simply um, take out a piece of paper write down the questions, kind of mimic what you see on the two pages, answer them, and then probably hopefully with a cell phone or borrow somebody's technology, you can scan it into a JPEG or a PDF or a ping file, and that way you can upload it here pretty soon. So whatever route it takes to get the job done, get the job done. So let's say we've got that finished, right? So you've converted it to a file and you completed the files. Now, how do I upload them? And for this, I need to go into student view. <clears throat> so let me get that done. And in student view, what you'll see when on this assignment page is, is a little button that says start assignment. So you'll press that. And if you scroll down, what now is available to you is a little location where you can uh, upload your files. So some of you might have it on a Google Drive. Some of you might actually have it in the Canvas Studio if you're used to that. I'm not, I'm gonna go old school and upload my file. So just press the upload file button and then choose the file. So let's just say, you know, this is the PDF file that I had there, right? Um, I have another file that I have to upload. There's two of them. And on that note, you guys, um, I know uh, fight the urge to put these two all together. The intent here is to practice how to work with multiple pages. I know it's only two, but if you can do two, you can do three or four or five. Some of you, again, through that scanning process have the ability to put all two pages in one file so you'd only have to do one upload. Um, others of you might not be able to do that. So go ahead and take a picture of each one. And you know, depending on how many pictures you have, just keep adding files and choose a file. And there you go. So right now I have actually uploaded three different files up into this assignment. When you're ready to uh, submit, just press the submit key. <clears throat> you should wait a little bit. And what should happen, my internet seems like a little slow. If you were successful, you'll see a little bit of a celebration, some confetti going on. And so uh, please make sure you do do that. Um, if you realize you make a mistake right now, you have multiple attempts. So you can just go through that process again with your, uh, with your corrections on the new attempt. Um, what I encourage you guys to do is after you've downloaded it, go to the submit uh, submission details. And what you're going to end up seeing is something similar to what I'm seeing on my end. You can add a comment. Oops, I, I am done. Oh my goodness, I can't type. I am done, All right? You can actually see the files that you uploaded. Uh, again, you can click on them and make sure that what uploaded is a full picture uh, that it, you're seeing what I'm basically seeing. Uh, this is really good for catching mistakes. Um, if you realize that a page didn't correctly upload, you know, half the page is there, there's all kinds of crazy things that happen on the internet. You can just basically go back to resubmit assignment and try it again. 
Uh, on that note, let me make sure you guys understand Guided notes and these assignments have a deadline. They're usually Monday nights at midnight. Um, I usually have about 10 to 11 days to get them done. So there's no excuses for waiting until 1145 on a Monday night to get these done and then realize your internet's slow or the technology's breaking down, your printer's not working because then it's just too late. So you have a lot of time to get this done. So get it done. There's no late uh, homework or excuse me, no late uh guided note submissions at all. So make sure you're working accordingly. It's that easy to get the job done. You just need to make sure that you allow your technology the time to get it done. All right, so there's basically how you do a practice assignment. So get started on it, get it done, get it out of the way. Um, this should be done by August 24th at midnight so you can practice working on a deadline. But other than that, keep uh, after you finish here, keep working on the uh, getting started module where you'll learn how to access your textbook and work in an introduction board. All right. So please get that started and uh, look forward to seeing you guys in some videos coming soon. Let's continue to have a good week and a start of a great semester. Talk to see you in some videos soon.